welcome to my channel, Fat to Keto. My friends call me Jelly. I've used a ketogenic journey to lose way over 200 pounds. I'm trying to get back down to my low because the C word knocked me out and messed me up. But that's okay. We're fighting. We never give up, right? We never give up. We never eat the... Now let's just start talking about health and keto. And I didn't want her to. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. It is September 14th. If you saw my video last night, you saw my hair all pulled up because I was coloring it with Arctic Fox. And this is the end result. You can see I have a lighter orangey color and a more dark. This one's the passion one. I'm not really sure what this one is. It's the orange one they sell. This is my favorite though. I wish I'd done all my hair that color. And of course you can see my roots because it's virgin hair. It didn't take like the blonde areas did. My daughter wanted to go get her hair all cut off. And so I was like, okay, let's do a thing. So I got my hair framed around my face so it's not just dead flat all the way to the ground. And I called it my hippie style and I got sick of it. So now it's all colored. We're going to burn some butter. And when I say burn butter, literally, literally. And when I get home, because I have somewhere to go, we're going to get into that. I'm going to show you the whole entire step-by-step -step video. And then we're going to pull it out of the freezer when I get home and see what's going on with it. Because this girl did not make it like Wendy. I screwed up and I burnt it. Just watch. And I talk a lot doing it, so you probably don't want to miss it because I'm talking about different things. Um, but yes, yes, I burned the butter. But it still might be good. We're gonna find out. I have two Kerrygold butter salted bricks in this pan. We're gonna try to make some yummy goodness. Right? We've been watching, we've been browning it for eggs for a while watching Wendy. I used to brown it for desserts, never eggs, until watching Wendy um, on Love Erin Keto channel. If you don't know who they are, go check them out. Um, but then she was watching someone who said, you know, then I watched her learn to do it with eggs. And then she watched someone who's been doing it and freezing it. I've never actually done that. I mean, I thought of a recipe using cacao butter, regular butter, and some cocoa and different things, and making fab bombs with cream cheese, all different kind of crazy things. But like I said in yesterday's video, I never did that. Um, so we are doing something today. We're going to try something today. Um, I don't know if I should like freeze it like she did, and then blend and put the flavoring in, or if I'm going to do it beforehand. But first, we have to brown this bad boy. Now, like she was talking about maple, right? Got my maple. Got my glazed donut, because we want maple glazed donut in this house. Gotta have cinnamon, where is it? Cinnamon in almost everything, so we're gonna have some maple glazed cinnamon donut. So we are going to make some of those. I have so many extracts, let's see what else I got. Got a cake batter, not sure how that would taste. Of course I got my, um apple pie. I have can candy corn, but it's never tastes like candy corn to me. Does anyone think it tastes like candy corn if you have it? Um, strawberry. Don't want strawberry. Bavarian cream sounds yummy with it. Graham cracker. Of course, I have my lemon. Pretzel. And cornbread, of course. I have tons of cornbread. And my favorite is my pound cake. We got that over here. Right now, we're just going to stick with this. You know, I, if you watched Wendy do the whole Lily's chocolate thing, how she can't eat it because it tears her stomach up. And when she was putting Lily's chocolate on the cake the other day, not the salted caramel one, um... Actually, it might have been the Sada Karma one. One of her videos where she was using Lily's chocolates. I was so jealous. I even said I wished I could eat Lily's chocolate, but it rips my stomach to pieces. I throw up insanely. I learned that by trying Lily's chocolate, um, the white chocolate candy bar. Oh my gosh. I never thought I was going to die. I, I was horrifying, horrifying. It lasted for three days. I was so ill from it. Um, 
and I was totally jealous that she could get away with eating it, but sadly, she can't. That's horrible, but let me tell you, I've never tested Choc Zero chocolate, which I should. I should order some and test it. Um, I mean, I do have some at mom's house. I could go steal one of her bars, but I, I want to do the actual chips. Um, I do have their pumpkin one, though. I use their pumpkin one a lot, but Choc Zero doesn't tear my stomach up at all. Not even a tiny bit. Let's see what the ingredients is in it. To to do. So it does have dextrin, vegetable oil. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, fact sources: palm fruit oil, coconut oil, cocoa butter, um, or cacao butter. I think I need to turn this down. I think this is gonna make a mess. Um, this one's got. Skim milk powder, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, clove, sunflower, lechi, um, natural pumpkin flavoring, natural caramel flavoring, monk fruit extract. So see, no chicory root. Um, me and chicory root are not always friends. And sometimes I can get away with it just fine, but there's just certain things I can't get away with. Ooh, y'all. Okay, let's turn this down before I burn myself. And let's move you way up because I don't want to tear up my phone. We're going way up, we all. There we go. Because this is spitting. I really cannot wait for my cacao butter to come in and my natural cacao powder because I don't really want to get some, li not lilies, but some chop zero because I would like to melt some chocolate, put it like in this thing like I'm about to do with these, like melt some chocolate, put it down, put a mixture of the goodiness in it. Um, put a little more. I'm um, gotta find me some organic coconut, shredded coconut. I want to use that too. Holidays are coming up, and because I've had such a hard time, I don't want to do my normal um, cheat meal on holidays or cheat days on holidays, which I've always done. And I don't really call them cheats. I call them doing keto my way, which means I can take a break at a holiday if I want to because it's my life and no one else's because I get a lot of keto police that whine. You should never go off it. Too bad. I'm not you. Um, but <laughs> as I was saying, um, I don't want to do that this year, especially for Halloween or Thanksgiving. Uh, low carb, yes. I'll do low carb because I want to be able to make cornbread and stuff like that. Keto corn, well, low carb cornbread. Um, and different things like that. But I don't want to go off of at least low carb. Like I want 100 total carbs or less for the day. So for me to do that, I'm going to be working on some recipes. Like some yummy, fat bomb candy recipes for me because last year I did the whole chop zero candy bars and um, I couldn't stop myself and I ate all of them which made it not keto anymore. I might as well have had a snicker bar. A snicker bar would have less carbs in it than three bags of Halloween candy from chop zero. Um, I'm sorry, I like chop zero's um, chocolate, coconut, and all their white chocolate more than I like sugar ones. <laughs> like I like the flavor better than any sugar candy bar I've ever had in my life. So, so now we just got to brown this. Waiting for butter to brown. Yay! Y'all, I'm totally dying to try this. Like watching Wendy and Harry try it, um, just sounds friggin' amazing. Their cake sounded amazing. Because I'm the girl who's going to tell you I cannot live without a sweet taste. I went six months, no 
any six sweet flavoring other than my sweet and low. I didn't know skinny syrups existed at that time. Um, I was doing it very, very strict. I only lost 20 pounds during that time, and I was miserable. My cravings for sugar, like a sweet flavor, it doesn't even have to be real sugar, but something yummy sweet like a cake, a brownie, something, a cookie, never, never stopped. The craving was a billion times worse than when I allow myself to have like keto chow or something nice and yummy and sweet but healthy. Um, this whole, if you just go a little while without any kind of sweet flavor, you'll get over it and never want it again. Is bullshit for a lot of us it might be great for tons of people like uh, <laughs> there's so many people that tell me that and I'm like that's great honey that's so great but uh, I'm not that person and I know for sure a lot of people that follow me is not that person either it doesn't eliminate the cravings for us it makes us binge when we allow ourselves to buy some bags of Chop Zero after a long time and not having it. We binge and eat the whole stupid bag or the whole entire container of cookie butter from Chop Zero because it is my favorite thing in the whole entire world. And my mom's got like 15 jars of it because it was on sale down at the house and seven of them were supposed to be mine. Um... Yeah, I ate the whole jar in one night a couple months ago, and it's not allowed in my house. Like, I confess. Whenever I did it, I confessed to y'all about it. And also, because it's made of hazelnut, and I hadn't had hazelnut in, a, like, years, and I'm slightly allergic to it. So, after eating that whole entire jar, I almost went and did it again. I stole another jar um, a couple weeks back, and that's when my throat swelled fast, too. That's the story I was trying to remember last in yesterday's video. Uh, I took one spoonful and within minutes I was having a horrible allergic reaction. <laughs> so that keeps me away from it because y'all, their cookie butter is my favorite thing in the whole world. I don't know anything else that's named keto that isn't better than that for me. Like that is my taste. That friggin cookie butter and especially with one of their coconut milk chocolate coconut bars dipped in it is like freaking heaven and that's why it couldn't be in my house i could not control myself with that i mean it was just like pure heaven totally in love with it so this is going to take a little longer than i thought um probably because i had to turn down the heat it was just flashing and everything and i get enough burns as it is so just gonna sit here and let continue to bowl getting all that I think um, Wendy said it's ghee or something when it rolls up, all that foam and stuff. It smells like movie theater popcorn, like the old one. Like when I was in Florida, we had one popping machine out of the whole theater that we would only open on the weekend because we would need different stations. Like we had the main station when like, I think we had like 10 poppers there and then we had two sides satellite areas and the one satellite area had the old-fashioned kettle and if you're old enough to know you know it's shaped totally different the popcorn comes out amazing they don't even put that buttery salt nasty stuff in it it's just so natural and it smells so amazing and then it they actually use a real butter okay at the movie theater nowadays it's not real butter it, it's just it's some oil crap stuff no matter what they tell you and most theaters do pop their popcorn in coconut oil because it makes the aroma go through the theater more. Um, so that is a good thing, but we can't we can't have popcorn, right? <laughs> even before keto, I throw up popcorn. Even though it was my favorite thing, I would binge on it, get sick, and throw up like crazy. Um, so going to the movie theaters is more pleasurable for me because I don't stuff myself with greasy, oily popcorn and get sick anymore with keto. So I just take, I'm going to start taking bacon, I think. I take um, expensive friggin' jerky and it's only a little bit and it normally burns my stomach with all the seasonings that's in it and it doesn't fill me up. And I normally bring pork rinds too. But I think I'm going to do a Wendy and make purse bacon. Because not only does that taste better, you get way more for your money. Like I get a whole pack of bacon for $4 on something that's way more than any friggin' jerky. Um, so I think I'm going to start making me some purse bacon for the movie theater. Yep, and that's all due to Wendy. 
and I have all these real salts seasoning. I have the hickory, I have the chef, I have cherry wood. I can make flavors on it. I can use, I'm ordering a brown monk fruit allulose um, blend where the erythritol isn't in there that I'm going to give that a try because then I can make some brown, um, brown glaze type bacon I could take with me. Like, I'm starting to think of all this stuff. This whole entire five years has all been about weight loss. Every moment has been, what can I restrict down my diet so my weight can move? Well, my weight's not moving. My weight is where it wants to be. It went up to 213 this year. We got it back down to the 180s. And that's where it's staying. So I've decided I have too much stress in my life right now. My sleep's messed up, getting cats fixed, trying to get the cats not pregnant until they can get fixed. Um, dealing with some other stuff, some serious other stuff that I can't talk about. But a lot, of, a lot of things going on. So if I lose weight, I lose weight. But I am hitting the gym. I am building muscle. I am walking the treadmill, which we plan on going tomorrow. Um, I am working on my health. So I'm working on my physical body, my mental health, my sleep, and just eating pure, good fats and keto um, to work on my organs on the inside. And because my, I truly believe like the doctors say, uh, what keto doctors say is if your insides are not healed and you are sick um, and you're stressed and your cortisol levels are high and mine are very high, mine are higher than normal, um, you're never going to lose weight. You have to fix other things too. So that's one thing I want to stress. If you are not losing weight, but you are not sleeping, or you are stressed, or you are on ibuprofen, <laughs> you can't really lose weight on ibuprofen. I don't care what anyone ever tells you. You just, it holds the water weight. Like, you won't notice you've lost any weight until you're off of it for two weeks or so. Um, or you're on Zyrtex, you should look up Zyrtex. There's some crazy stuff being shown about Zyrtex right now. I'm on Claritin, and I haven't noticed anything about Claritin yet, but Zyrtex is kind of crazy, which I'm allergic to, so. Um, but if you're on anything like that, your stress, um, everything affects your weight loss. So give yourself a break. We've all been concentrating so hard on weight loss for so long because a lot of y'all I know have been at this for a long time, you got to be stressed out. I love how Wendy and Harry is worrying about getting their ketones up, worrying about therapeutic part of it by getting healthy. Yes, they want to lose weight, but they want to be healthy. And I had no energy, but adding all this fat, and I know I can't, I have never, not since the first year, been able to lose weight if I eat this much fat. But I'm not on the couch, am I? I'm sitting here running my mouth. I now have a 500 calorie coffee in the morning, well, almost 500 calories, 45 fat grams, and sometimes I throw in eight pieces of bacon with it on top of it, so I am running all day on tons. It's like, it's like I'm on a sugar rush, but it's a fat rush. So I might not be losing weight, but I can walk the treadmill. I can clean my house. I can cook. I can leave the house. I can talk. I can be sociable. I can be not moody because this girl was very, very moody for a long time. So, pick your evil is what I said to myself. Do I want to be miserable on the couch, barely losing any weight, starving my body of the fat it needs because it some for some reason can't take it from itself and it's not healing properly? Or do I want to say, all right, we'll stay at this weight right now and heal the heck out of my body with some really healthy fat, have all my energy, be able to go walk that treadmill and lift those weights and do things again and work in the yard and breathe and be happy and okay, I'm not in the size jeans I want, but guess what? I will be one day. But first, first let's heal myself. That's, that's my poison. That's what I decided. That I first need to heal myself. Oh, we're getting a brown. We're getting some brown here. I swear this is taking way longer than Wendy's. Maybe she does it way higher than me. How long have I been running my mouth? I don't want to drive y'all crazy. 17 minutes of y'all watching Butter Bowl and me run my mouth. But it's starting to turn brown now. You see the golden is starting to happen. Maybe if I stop stirring it, but I also don't want it to like burn, burn. 
Oh, it smells so good, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? And yes, it's 3 a.m. 3 a.m. I finished yesterday's video. Well, yeah, the what day was that? I'm so lost because it's 3 a.m. So it's the 14th, but it's, it's the night of the 13th. I'm just going to keep letting this brown. And as soon as the bubbles are all gone and we are nice and brown, I'll start recording again. I don't think it was recording. Holy crap. I've been saying here recording and I don't think it's been recording. So I sprinkled in a lot of cinnamon just now. Um, not a whole, whole lot. Dina was making a bunch of comments and it would have been great on film, but I guess it wasn't recording. So I'm going to go ahead and do glazed donut. Oh, this might have been a mistake, y'all. <laughs> I guess it's lick really. It didn't record that whole conversation, honey. Okay, some maple. That's funny. The house isn't going to catch fire, don't worry. Let me find out who was having the Okay. Alright. Let me let me pull this off. Oh, I smell that maple. I might have overcooked mine. Just saying. Mine might be way overcooked. Alright. I have smoke. Give me a second. Alright, mine might turn out to be a horrible fell because it was actually very burned, but I couldn't see it with all the bubbles. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I poured in this. It wouldn't. There was no way to put in the other one. And I forgot I didn't have a tray to make it steady. So we're in this silicone. I'm going to let it cool down. Before I, look how black it is. I think mine's going to be horrible. I think I wasted two very expensive Kerrygold butters. I think I should have started with one. But it is so dark, y'all. Hmm. You know what it tastes like to me? Burnt grilled cheese. Um, we'll see what it tastes like tomorrow, but that would be my thoughts. I am going to throw in some more cinnamon and a little more glazed donut drops. One more full, one more full dropper of the maple, one more full glazed donut and about half a tablespoon of cinnamon and stir it up. I think I'm going to be able to use it, but ow, hot, shoot, <laughs> but it's not going to be, it's not going to taste sweet like, um, Wendy's probably did. What you didn't see me add was one tablespoon of pure allulose. Um, I decided it needed a little hint of sweet. I have a feeling it's going to taste like when I make Wendy's buttermilk bread and I stick the butter, the cinnamon, all on it. I have a feeling it's going to taste like that because it, it kind of tastes like grilled cheese to me like the bread does when because I eat it really burned. I'm going to make more, don't worry, not tonight, but I'm going to make more and not burn it. Baby, I said I don't want to record, rec oh. <laughs> He's being a brat. He turned it on. Not me, because I'm sitting here trying to clean. It's, it's, it's aesthetic, it's clean. Hi. 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 Well, I guess y'all get to watch me scrub down the stove. That's a pain in the butt. It doesn't matter how many times I clean it. It never looks clean. Only when I take the razor blade to it and a special cleaner. But then, then it's dirty as soon as I use it. My only complaint about glass stoves. Okay, let's pull out that butter. has been in the freezer all night long. It is now 8 p.m. So let's do this. Look at the smoking. I'm just pulling it out. Okay, this is why I love silicone, y'all. All right, yes, look at the burnt. <laughs> so this is why I say, and I did burn it. We did burn it. So if you don't wanna use the burnt part, you can see the line perfectly where you could cut the burnt off with no problem. But we're going to see what the burn tastes like. Oh that kind of reminds me of Gosh. Looks like a chocolate cake. It's butter. I know. It looks like a chocolate cake. Am I allergic to the butter? No, honey. You're not allergic to the butter. I'm going to 
So you just gonna put it in your mouth like that? Yes. Ew. Look, I was I was the kind of kid that would eat butter, so no judgment. Yeah, I just eat butter mayonnaise. I eat butter. Right? I'm not I'm, Okay. I'm, I'm so I have to cut some of the burn off. I'm gonna taste it both ways. Um hold on, let me find a way to flip y'all to see me. Okay, so this is backwards again, so it always confuses me. Alright, I'm gonna here we go. I'm gonna do the burn, the burn part first. Definitely tastes like toasted cinnamon. It has the toast taste and everything. I do not mind the burn part at all. Wouldn't want to put in my coffee, but the burn part totally tastes like I do my cinnamon toast. Because I like my toast brown very very dark brown okay i cut off all the burn i might still have the flavor though mm -mm. it doesn't have the flavor baby did you want to try you want to try it with or without burn no. okay Haley, did you want to try um i'm trapped okay do you want freedom? i don't like it I don't think it was about even burning it. You can seriously just eat butter like that? I want to try it. Pipey, I'm so sorry. Pipey, I'm sorry. I'm I like sorry. Don't get All right. This isn't normal disgusting butters. This is Kerrygold. It's just cream and salt. Nothing else is inside Kerrygold butter. It sounds okay. like you got to get ready to use it. Sorry. It, it, I was, if you heard that in the background, it was because I was holding. All right. That's with no burn. Want to be on the camera? Mm -hmm. You can be honest if you hate it. I don't know what I'm tasting. To me, it tastes a little like how I make my grilled cheese. It's cinnamon, honey. Mommy put cinnamon, mm. maple, mm -hmm. and uh, glazed donut flavoring. I'm going to be honest. It just tastes like grilled cheese. See, that's why I keep saying, here, you want to try the burn one? Mm -mm. To me, it tastes like my grilled cheese when I do cinnamon. I mean, it's not a bell for me. Well, you should get um, sugar-free or keto-free whipped cream. Okay. And dip it in it. It's, well, it's only oh like a fat bomb. Me. So that's why I didn't put any sugary things in it. But that okay. actually sounds good, like a snack. So, and I have ball. I have I'm, ball um, uh, cacao butter and mm -hmm. cacao powder to make chocolate ones. Mm -hmm. So, what I think would be really good is if you added more cinnamon. Because I'm a cinnamon fiend. Like, if you look at my coffee when I put cinnamon in it, I put at least a tablespoon of cinnamon, most likely more. So if you, like, tripled the amount of cinnamon you put in there and you put maybe a little allspice or a little bit of nutmeg, it kind of tastes I would like, like toffee it. to me. I've never had toffee, so mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, if you heard that in the background earlier, it's because I was in the other room holding Pipey, and she didn't want to be put down. But, you know, sacrifices. <laughs> I keep forgetting the cameras on this side. Oh, Hello? Clear. Okay, not a fell to me at all, even though I thought it was last night. I actually really, really What does the burnt piece taste like? Alright, hold on. I haven't eaten today. Ten bucks says if you eat more, you're going to go to the restroom. <laughs> Clean you right up. Baby, it doesn't have holes in it. Alright, go ahead. Oh. The flavor's in the burnt. I like that. The flavor's in the burnt. You like the burnt? I did not like it without the burnt. Are you, you like sure the burnt? that's burned? It, it was so black last night. I think that's burnt. We don't even think that's burnt. That's like black. I don't know, but it's yummy. I wonder if your spices sunk to the bottom and then burned. I put the spices in right at the end when I was pulling it out. Mm. Most of it was already inside it. So maybe it burned, but then also the spice. I don't and it know. is burned because it was a chunky burn, and I could have I decided I to go ahead and add it. Because I was trying to be nice, but I didn't like it before the burned. I like it after the burned. Um, it did just taste like, you know, just nothing without the burn. All right, so I'm going to chop this up, and it is definitely not a foul. Definitely not. Excuse me, mister. We cannot open the door. No, he, he says, don't know how. He says it needs to open. Alright, so I am sitting here at pickup at Walmart. I ordered 
cat food, not cat food, cat litter to be delivered to the house, and I get a text, your order is ready for pickup. And it can't be changed, and I need cat litter, so here I am waiting at 7 o'clock at night, still haven't eaten anything today, just having the one coffee, completely starving, cranky, going all the way, hold on, Haley, going all the way to Audi's today because they said the cat food would be in today because they, they didn't have it last night and no wasn't in then waste my time drove all the way over there for no reason other than Haley gets to have uh, Dunkin and Donuts uh, coffee <sighs> so yeah yeah that's my day right now like everything is going bad except it isn't because I love my new haircut and the color that I did myself that I got a haircut Ta-da! She accidentally made it too short, but it's still good. She likes short hair. I'd be freaking out. I would lose my mind. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like at least an inch shorter than I asked for, and she even said oops. So um. I heard her say oops. I'm over there getting my hair cut, and she went, and she's way over on the other side behind me, and I hear the salon go, oops. I, I think I made your veins way too short, which yeah. meant all of it had to go shorter. Yeah. So I was freaked out thinking she was about to but freak out. It's okay out. because I wanted the short hair, however I didn't ask for it because no way could I ask for this short of a haircut when mommy is present because she'd be like, that's too short, you're not getting a haircut. And then I got this haircut, um, so it was fate. Um, it's nice. I hope it still looks good when it's wavy because this is okay. styled. Do you want to do your rant about pink tax? Oh my Really? Careful, you're online. No saying bad word. Can I say brick? No. Keep going. Oh, heck. <laughs> okay, so I got almost the exact same haircut as the guy beside me. He just got it faded on the sides instead of like just constant on the sides, which meant his haircut was harder to do than mine. His haircut was $12. Mine was 30 because I'm not a male. That is insane. That is insane. We got almost the exact same haircut. However, his required more time to complete. Because they don't go by the link of hair by itself. Like, yeah. Okay, so if you're a girl and you go in, if it's a lot of hair, um, the way my hair used to be, that $30 would actually be $80. It would go up. Um, the link that is now it's 30 so when she got to the register and she realized that mine and hers was the same price but uh, you know my parents paid for us um the same as that price it was so upset like I was I had to explain what paint tax was because at first I was like why are you giving her like like at first I was like why is the tip not super high and then I realized I was like wait it was my haircut $30 and you're we like yeah and I was like That's, it's shared agape. So my mom said so. there, my mom said, you should have said, um, I'm identifying as a male today. Because, you know, people can identify as cats and stuff and whatever they want, which is, I am not arguing with at all because I, I was married to a transgender. Um, so I'm not, I'm not downing that statement at all. I'm just saying, I think it's not fair yeah. that women, because we're a woman, we have to pay $30. She had less hair than the guy did. And like she said, it took way less time and didn't have to do as much. And the guy yeah. even got his hair like shampooed, dried, styled and everything. His was $12 because today was $12 day for men. It's just that is just so stupid because first of all hair doesn't have gender it's just dead skin that comes out of your scalp uh in like oh you want a girl's haircut no i want you to cut off my hair like it it is not it should be based on length it should be based on style it should it like it doesn't even matter if it's based on length. it could be just based on how long it takes them to do it however i was done way before yours got done like I came over to her and I started talking and she sh she was like oh my gosh I I I was like should I go over there because what if she freaks and what if she flinches and then you accidentally get a bad haircut um but <laughs> and like my hair had yeah. to be cut twice because she was yeah. scared to cut too much off because first we had to cut an inch and a half of dead dead hair broken hair from when I got it yeah. blonde last time it broke a lot um so we cut all that off and then she made this way longer and I'm like you know what you can because she brought it to here I'm like no we can go way shorter with it. I'll be okay. So I basically got two haircuts in one sitting yeah. and she straightened my hair because she wanted to make sure because I had wavy hair and she wanted to make sure it was all even. 
so she was freaked out that it was the same yeah, price. Yeah, of course I did so tip stupid. my, the one who did my hair way more money because, you know, mine took way longer. Yeah. And, and I had to explain, like, you know, it could be the same exact brand, the same ingredients almost in a deodorant, and the men's will work better than women's yeah. most of the time, except for me. Secret works amazing. Uh, but women have to pay more. Yeah. Same with razors. I only use men's razors, y'all. Do not use women's. It's a piece of crap to me. Use five blade Gillette men's because when I do Gillette women's, it is not as good as the friggin' men's. And then at it all. dulls super fast. And then that's a whole issue of dying. With yeah. Cuts everywhere. Because I have places to go resend them, which if you don't know, it means you get hair on your chins yeah, and stuff like, like that and face. Chins. Um, which means I have to shave my face, which is embarrassing and I hate it and I was using women's and then it only lasts five hours with a women's shaver and Dina was like, no, just use mine, which is G Gillette five blade men blade. Um, so I did and, um, I can go almost two days now. That's how, and, and mine costs more just cause it was, and mine was a disposable, you had to like, uh, I was like, what, what? And I can use his for months. Like, he gives me one of his blades, I literally can use that blade over and over again for months. Yeah, and it's just, it's so upsetting. Like, I use men's deodorant, um, because not only does the women's not work, but also the women's uh, cost, like, three times the price, and it doesn't even work. So yeah. that is just so, so This stupid. is what she learned today, and how life is. But is that my order? No, that that's theirs. Order? No, that's so we're just sitting here waiting, then I'm gonna go home and cook because I am starving, holy crap. I, other than getting my hair done today and now getting kitty litter, I really haven't done anything because it's been going from town to town trying to get things. And my cats have become picky. They only like the very, it is a very clean Aldi brand of cat food and it's the cheapest I've ever found either. Other than, um, special kitty but special kitty's got grains and stuff in it and all these has no grains no corns nothing like that in it so it's healthy um, I don't know why it's so funny to me that cats can be picky like they're just there's just little balls of fluff and they just they're picky unless it's a little girl a little girl eats any yeah. and everything well also Freya Freya will eat oh everything. she eats paper yeah Freya, <laughs> Freya oh here comes mine hold on it has issues <laughs> But anyways, I don't even think I told y'all, but I had a hell of a night with those cats and I am so excited because I called the vet. I'm like, uh, I can't do this. I can't wait until November. Please, do you have any cancellations? They're like, girl, we can take three of them on the 21st of this month instead of November 10th, okay? So the two oldest ones, so Willow, Piper, and Bear, all getting fixed on that day and then all get October 13th was their next cancellation will be the other two girls and I can finally breathe right finally breathe I guess I'm gonna have a boy that might cause trouble but I'll be able to breathe okay it's here now. okay so I have air fried 10 ounces um, of pork chops using my peppercorn melody grinder seasoning and hickory real salt smoked yummy goodness and it is 9 p.m. And this is my actual first meal of the day. All I've had is a fatty coffee around 2 p.m. I think or 1 o'clock today. So this girl is starving.